Hello everyone, and today I'm going to give you my review of the movie Logan, which I saw yesterday. Uh, Logan was directed by James Mungold, and this is the last supposed Wolverine slash Xavier uh, Professor X movie. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to just give you my thoughts on the film that I saw yesterday afternoon. So, uh, yeah, and I will not talk about the spoilers in this review. I, I might, you might, you might, I will, I will promise you guys I will do one. Uh, sometime this week, I promise you that. Um, so yeah, um, because there's a lot to say about this movie, and uh, uh, like for the last like two weeks, I remember uh, like seeing a bunch of reviews for this movie. Everyone's saying it's phenomenal. They say it's uh, maybe even the best, not just best Wolverine movie, but maybe the best X Men movie. And I got to see it, and do I agree? Especially because I'm a lifelong fan of X Men. I love the movies. Um, I love the comics. I did not see. I did not. Again, I did not grow up with the uh, X Men uh, animated TV series in the nineties. Uh, I'm wearing the blue button up shirt and the white shirt underneath to represent what Logan went to war in point one of the movies. So uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm a huge long time X Men fan. In my opinion, the last few X Men movies, in my opinion, have been really good. X Men First Class was great. Um. Uh, the Wolverine, which I thought was good until the third act. Um, these are your Paris, which is phenomenal. And X-Men Apocalypse, which not many people loved, but I loved. But, uh, yeah, those are like the last most recent v movies of it. And, uh, now this, this movie rank among the franchise. Honestly, I think it's not, in my mind, not only is this movie on par with Days of Future Past, I think it's slightly above Days of Future Past. I would solid. Ah, fuck. This movie's fucking amazing. I'll be honest with you. It's again. I will acknowledge. I at times on my reviews, I can uh, over be a bit more ridiculous of my own statements, stuff like that. But I don't doubt my words for saying this. I think this is one of the best superhero movies of all time. Of all time, and I hope this this is only the start of what 26, 2017 uh, superhero movies, but also 2017 movies in general, because this is the to me this is the first like fantastic super uh, movie of the first the first fantastic movie of this year. I hope this is this this is just the first of what we get of this year, like <laughs> before this movie. Okay, regardless. Uh, I mean, story. The main story of this movie is essentially, you know, uh, Wolverine. He's like, you know, a limo. Like he has a he has a job. He is a limo driver. He does stuff like that. He drives people to places like that. And um, you know, he's while doing that, he's taking he's taking care of a very sick Professor X. And um, you know, a woman comes along and she's like, "No, uh, please, you gotta take this girl." Uh, because, you know, these guys are chasing after us. Because there's some storyline that's going on that I want not. Because it's very vital for this. Um, you know, so I'm going to tell you the story. What works? Now, you're going to ask me of any movie. Well, okay. What, what's good about this movie? The tone. The tone is dark. It's mature. And it's not for the young. It's not for the youth. It's, if you're under 16 in my mind, then don't see this film. If, if you can't, I won't go that far. But like this movie, in my mind, it's like it's good. Like 17. If you're 17 and up, then I would recommend this film because this movie is amazing. What works so well about this movie is not this is dark with subject material, but it's also it's great grim feeling of it being like a last, like the feeling of. Like, the, the last end of their own road. Like, both <laughs> Hugh Jackman and Ian McKellen, uh, not Ian McKellen, and Patrick Stewart give arguably the best performances of, of their careers in this movie, in this movie alone. I, both of them being such a vulnerability, a tragedy, and a true anguish of sadness and agony and pain to their characters, but they also find... But with Wolverine, I found a lot of that, but also it balanced out a lot of her heroism within, within him, 
and also a lot of bravery and a real sense of a growing loyalty to the to Laura, uh, who is I'll, I'll, it's not a big spoiler here. Who is X twenty three? To be honest, like I I saw that coming. Um, seriously, their dynamic is fantastic. The girl who plays her, oh shit, I forgot Laura. I forgot her name. The girl who plays Laura in this movie is phenomenal. The scenes between her and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine are phenomenal. The scenes between her and Professor Xavier, well, not Professor X, but um, Charles, are fantastic. The dynamic and the scenes between Wolverine and um, uh, Charles Xavier are fantastic. They know how to show the intimacy and the pure primal feeling of agony, desperation, and togetherness that they find in a movie, and they know how to feel like they really gotta come together to find, just not only, not only to survive, but to balance off each other, and it feels like they need each other at times, more than ever, even if they hate each other, even if they're being total dicks, even if they're getting annoyed as hell with each other, they always find a great balancing out with each other, or these characters, and I love that. Not only dynamic, but also feeling when I got them. Also, the acting, no, not, not just the acting, of course, it's fantastic, but the action is fucking phenomenal. It really is. The last fight in the forest is amazing. The scene where they're escaping this type of area where, the, where Logan is taking care of Professor X and another character who is albino, which I completely, god damn it, I completely blacked out on his name now. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> um, but this albino, uh, other mutant, like, he's with, like, that action scene when they're escaping that area was fantastic. So many great action scenes. Not only all, all that is that, not only are those moments, well, beautifully shot, but the choreography is phenomenal. I love how, uh, they set X uh, Laura's, uh, um, action her action moments, how it differentiates from Logan's, and how I liked how she, she was much more, um, just phenomenal, yeah, fucking uh, amazing, I was blown away by, uh, again, someone like me who is, just loves action scenes and loves choreography of action scenes and the dynamic and how it looks and feels, this feels real and primal, and it feels like a, a great essence of dying of um, uh, I'll fight till like that to I'll fight to my last breath feeling of it and I loved that feeling of this movie it was just phenomenal not only all that but it this movie was not only powerfully dramatic and heartbreaking but it's emotionally draining as a whole and there's great moments where they were um where there's moments of levity and character development but they feel natural and real and it felt just beautiful. Holy shit, it's snowing outside. It's so crazy. Um Yeah. Just phenomenal. And my favorite um the great sense of tone. And it felt like also this like a mixture of movies together like kinda of like an like character moments and tropes of Unforgiven meets the story of Terminator 2, but also, like, the, it, feel, it felt like a more of, like, a modern western, kind of like a no country for an old man feel to it, and I love that uh, feel to it, and also the villains, I really like the villains, I love, I love the villains, and I thought they were great as well, they worked beautifully, I thought, um, how, I actually never, I think that was some people's complaints, but there's, oh man, I was really blown away by it. And there was a whole, yeah, I just love the action. It's just so much of this movie. And again, I'm not going to give much away, but the ending, uh, yeah, bring some tissues. That's all I'm going to say, because it's emotional as hell. Um, but yeah, as I said before, uh, if this is, this is the last film as Professor X and Wolverine, and I got to say, they ended on a beautiful note.
That's all I'm going to say about the spoiler. I mean, somewhat hinting towards a bit of a spoiler end, which I'm not going to expose here. But all I'm going to say is that, uh, oh, I don't know, see this film. Because I personally have little to no flaws with it. I do think there's a point where it does get a little bit slow, but even then, it never felt dragging. It always felt interesting. It always felt... It always felt investing, and I personally never felt bored with those slower moments. I was so, 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 excuse <gasps> me, um, I was still so sucked into it, and I was so blown away, and I was so emotionally captivated by it, and I love those slower, quiet character moments. Like, there's a scene when Logan tells Laura to give um, Charles uh, the pills, and he's like, did you take the pills? And Professor X kind of goes, like that, and just... I'm like, there's such little character moments like that, which make it so much more lenient. And they meet this family at a certain point, and I'm like, they're just so kind and kin kinderhearted and caring. And I just really kind of, even if you could argue they were kind of jammed into the movie, I felt like I still so, I still personally felt so emotionally captivated by them. And, uh, yeah, it just blew me away. It was emotional. It was powerful. It was fun. It was exhilarating. It was thrilling. It was... Um, to me, this is almost as perfect as a... Not only... It's not only a great comic book movie. It's a great film. And... What every film in my mind should do... You know, some people say, Oh, a film should at least... Every film at least should show you something different. And for me, is that is... The one thing I ask for any film ever is number one, leave me, leave me with a feeling of um, wanting to come back and to see this again, and it leads so much perspective of what how the film drops more knowledge at certain points, and so when you watch it again, you get you feel like you're gaining so much more new new information, and just yeah, overall blew me away. I personally have little to no flaws with this movie. Um, what do you expect? Uh, I have The Wolverine right here, which is also re which is also directed by James Mangold. Um, just, yeah, as a whole, Logan, phenomenal. No more, no less, phenomenal. I encourage you to see it. So, uh, yeah, here on Sunday, I'm... You know, have this video out, and um, I'll have my spoiler video for you guys out uh, tomorrow on Monday. Till then, everyone, thank you very much so for watching, and uh, till then, bye. Oh yeah, uh, one last thing, rating. Hmm. Oh, what do you? Uh, what do I think? Uh, um, it's a hundred percent. Obviously, this movie just fucking blew my socks off. Honestly, I would say it's the best superhero movie since Captain America Civil War. It blows. It's just extraordinary. In my opinion, it's probably among my top 10 favorite superhero movies of all, of all time now. It just, just... God damn, I loved it. I loved it. And, uh, yeah. Till then, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you... Alright guys, tomorrow for my spoiler video. Till then everyone, thank you very much. And uh, goodbye. Have a good day.